It has been uh, almost an hour and 20 minutes since Atlantis undocked from the International Space Station. The orbiter under the control of pilot Doug Hurley moved uh, to a point directly in front of the station of about 600 uh, plus feet and held in a station keeping position for about uh, 31 minutes to enable the station to maneuver and yaw 90 degrees presenting uh, the length of the axis of the station, the longitudinal axis of the station to Atlantis for the beginning of the fly around that got underway about uh, 22 minutes or so ago. Hurley uh, is now at a position uh, almost directly behind the station at a distance of 671 feet, maintaining a distance. Everything looking very good. Documentation of the station is continuing by Sandy Magnus and Rex Walheim, who are also uh, joining Chris Ferguson uh, up on the flight deck of Atlantis uh, to measure uh, with handheld lasers and other rendezvous tools uh, the distance and the uh, maintenance of the distance uh, of Atlantis from the station structure. And uh, through the uh, shuttle's S-band communication system, the uh, sequential still video view, this is a frame refreshed view in the absence of a downlink KU band capability at the moment from Atlantis. Looking back at the station, which will maneuver back into its normal orientation following a final separation maneuver. We're about 24 seconds away from the first separation burn uh, by uh, pilot Doug Hurley. This will be a 1.5 foot per second da radial Bravo. down burn. Gappy, we're with, with you in 8 Bravo. This will be about a four second burst of the reaction control system jets. And you saw the jets firing. The SEP-1 burn complete. Sixteen twenty-one forty for the burn, Houston. And we see a good SEP-1 burn. That uh, initial separation maneuver fired uh, by Doug Hurley, uh, this pulse of the reaction control system jets uh, basically hastens uh, uh, Atlantis's uh, traverse down uh, to a position about 671 feet directly below the International Space Station, at which point uh, the second separation burn will take place. This is essentially the final burn in the vicinity of the International Space Station that will enable it to depart. Atlantis Houston on the big loop with the cleanup step on the SM antenna page. I know what you're going to tell me. Roger. Yeah, 
on the SM antenna page. Here comes the item 16. Thank you, Fergie. In the uh, Space Station Flight Control Room, Jerry Jason, the uh, Station Flight Director, uh, has indicated uh, that the maneuvering of the International Space Station by Russian thrusters back to the normal orientation should begin about five minutes from now. That will enable uh, Atlantis to be in a position almost directly below the International Space Station. With our fly around, uh, we'll be uh, coming out underneath you and uh, should have a good view from the cupola. I'm not sure when we're going to break down the big loop, but uh, if it's any time soon, we just wanted to give you a final uh, goodbye. Hey, thanks, Fergie. We'll be watching you from the uh, SM windows, and uh, you guys look really good on the fly around from what we can see. And uh, again, thank you so much for all that you guys uh, have done for us up here. We really, really appreciate it. You couldn't script it any better, but as uh, Atlantis flies into an orbital sunset, about to uh, execute its second separation burn, Ron Garin uh, communicating with uh, Chris Ferguson as Atlantis approaches a point uh, directly below the International Space Station. That second separation burn will be noted as uh, both Ferguson and Garin, who heads up U.S. orbital segment operations uh, as one of the two NASA flight engineers on board the International Space Station, along with Mike Fossum. The uh, station crew is watching uh, this activity now out of the uh, Zvezda service module windows, their best vantage point for this particular orientation of the station relative to Atlantis. Atlantis and the International Space Station flying uh, just uh, to the southeast of the continent of Australia. Atlantis uh, moments away from departing from the International Space Station for the final time, having undocked almost an hour and a half ago. The uh, fly around is essentially complete. There'll be one more burst of the reaction control system jets. That coming in uh, 21 minutes to complete uh, Atlantis's 12th and final visit to the International Space Station.
the last view of Atlantis as uh, both craft have uh, sailed into an orbital sunset. In the space station flight control room, the attitude determination and control officer, basically the station equivalent of the guidance navigation and control officer here in the shuttle room, reporting that uh, the International Space Station has uh, begun its maneuver back into the normal orientation. The fly around now complete, standing by in just a few minutes uh, for the final separation burn that will take Atlantis away from the space station for the last time. Houston, for the uh, this next step burn, step two, we show 1649.40. Hey, thanks for checking, uh, and we agree with you.